many thanks for joining us again on the newsroom. I am Oye Adekunle. A town hall meeting on the protection of public infrastructure is currently taking place in Abuja, the nation's capital. The Ministry of Information and Culture had earlier launched the town hall meeting series in Lagos on April 25, 2016. The meeting organized by the Ministry of Information has in attendance stakeholders from all walks of life, including security, traditional and political institutions. Minister of Information Lai Mohammed in his opening address noted that despite the paucity of funds, the current administration has invested massively in infrastructure to tackle the deficit that was in existence before now. The National Broadcasting Commission, NBC, has directed all broadcast stations in Nigeria to suspend the patronage of Twitter with immediate effect. This directive was contained in a statement signed by the Director General of Agency, Armstrong Idachaba, on Monday in Abuja. According to the statement, stations are advised to uninstall Twitter handles and desist from using Twitter as a source of information gathering for news and programs presentation, especially phone-ins. The Commission also noted that it will be unpatriotic for any broadcaster in Nigeria to continue to patronize the suspended Twitter as a source of its information. The Nigerian Medical Association in Ondo State has raised concerns over the mass resignation of state government employees. It states it claims that 105 doctors have left the state service in the last one year. The association in a press statement signed by NME State Chairman Dr. Stella Adegbeinbe and State Secretary Dr. Olufemi Owa blamed the trend on irregular and percentage payments of salaries by the state government. The association leadership pointed out that some departments in the state-owned teaching hospital, which could hit a total boast of between six, to six and eight doctors, are now left with one or two doctors. In Uganda's president, Yoweri Museveni, has shut down schools and suspended public gatherings for a period of 42 days as the country faces a surge of infections in the second wave of coronavirus. According to an official statement on Monday, public transport between districts will be banned from Thursday onwards to allow students who are in schools to return home. Bars, cinemas and theatres have also been closed. The announcement came hours after the health ministry announced 1,259 new coronavirus cases, which is the highest number of infections recorded in a single day. And at least 180 Burundi Change operators napped by security operatives for alleged links to terrorism financing have reportedly paid 900 million naira in penalties before the return to their businesses. This comes as BDC operators and other traders rounded off by security agents in March on suspicion of involvement in financing of terrorism have remained in detention almost three months after their arrest. President of the Association of Rural Change Operators of Nigeria, Aminu Gwadabe, confirmed that each of the 180 BDC operators were made to pay 5 million naira penalty to the Central Bank of Nigeria, amounting to 900 million naira. He, however, clarified that the incident is largely due to the carelessness of its members who engage in transactions with people they do not know. And Peru's presidential election was on a knife edge on Sunday night with early on official counts showing the socialist and conservative con candidates separated by thin margin. A quick count of votes with a 1% error margin put candidates Pedro Castillo, an elementary school teacher and novice politician, ahead by a 0.4 of the percentage point. The new results triggered immediate celebrations in some parts of the country, but the tight race could lead to days of uncertainty as official counts trickle in and may trigger social unrest if supporters of either candidate question the results. And in sports now, Osaka has pulled out of next week's Berlin WTA grass court tournament in the wake of a controversial exit from the French, French Open. Organizers of the tournament confirmed that her management says the 23-year-old is set to take a break from playing. Osaka has not said when she plans to return to play next, casting doubt on her participation at Wimbledon, which starts on June 28th and the Tokyo Olympics. The 23-year-old four-time Grand Slam winner has been in the spotlight since withdrawing from Roland Garros after a dispute over her refusal to attend press conferences. Well, that's the latest update on the newsroom at this time. Please join us again at the top of the hour for more.